No, no, if I'm not mistaken, Blackburn introduced that variation in the Hastings tournament in 95. Blackburn? The British chess master. Oh, no, you're wrong there, Colonel. Pillsbury introduced that move. Are you sure? Pillsbury? Positive. Paris, 1900. Oh, no, no, Pillsbury, no. Paris? That's right. You can bet your bottom dollar on it. Oh, Father, don't be so cocksure. Uh, it's hardly raining now. I think I'll go out and look at the shops. Yes, yeah, do that, dear. Good idea. Get yourself a new bonnet. Uh, <laughs> have a nice time, you two. And don't get into any arguments. Uh, uh, charming girl. Yes. Yeah. It's refreshing to see someone young around. These, uh, these are very interesting pieces, Colonel. Where did you pick them up? Well, a uh, family heirloom. Yeah. Yes, these pieces are over a hundred years old. Really? Well, now, to follow up the Blackburn variation. Pillsbury, the American master. Pillsbury in Paris, 1900. I... Your daughter said we were not to argue, otherwise... Otherwise what? I should point out that this surprise move of the pawn is typically Blackburn. Blackburn is not the only chess player who can push a pawn around. Well, perhaps we'd better get on with the game. Yes, yeah, perhaps we had. <laughs> Though your position doesn't look any too good. Huh, that remains to be seen. Well, it's your move. I'll prove it to you later. Prove? What? That this variation was introduced by Pillsbury in Paris. Oh, to the devil with Pillsbury in Paris. Well, credit where credit is due, that's all. <laughs> exactly, and I'm quite positive the move originated in the Hastings tournament in 95. Mm, by Blackburn, eh? By Blackburn, certainly. The British chess master. Quite. Pillsbury was the chess master of America. I'm quite aware of that, Mr. Dunn. You're Don Tootin, you're aware of it. What do you mean? Well, you're saying that the British master was superior to the American master, no. that's what you're saying. Nothing of the sort. It's a question of fact. Harry Nelson Pillsbury could play rings around any English master any time. English haven't the knack for chess. But the Americans have, you mean? That's right. Chess calls for ingenuity, enterprise, and skill. Qualities which the English do not possess, you mean? Well, I... Don't go too far, sir. No, 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 no. Hold your horses. I interest you to have a look at this board in which we're playing. Dolly Madison. President Madison's wife. Where did you get this? My grandfather picked it up in 1812. 1812? When 6,000 British soldiers, lacking in skill and enterprise, captured the city of Washington. The capital of the United States. How did your grandfather get hold of this chess set? By the simple act of taking it. He was dining in the mansion from which your president had fled in some haste. You mean he stole it? My grandfather was flag lieutenant under Admiral Cohen. The president's dinner was cooked and ready to serve. The admiral and my grandfather ate it. This, this is stolen property. Milk spoils of victory, sir. Oh, robbery. Father, hey, father, robbery. Father, please. Why didn't you stay to protect your property? Didn't figure you fellas would steal oh, it. Father, the colonel's your guest. You ran like hares, like hares, sir. The roads were littered with the guns your men dropped as they ran. Well, now, colonel, probably we were just hurrying ourselves down to New Orleans. What? A deucedly disorderly route, sir. Colonel, it seems to me, it. colonel, that we won that war somewhere down around New Orleans. I think I'll just take this board in the name of the United States government. Why? Keep your hands off my property, you Yankee no. rebel! Yankee rebel! You hear that, Sue? No. Why, for two no. cents, I... You're a receiver of stolen property! No. Robber! Please don't go. Please don't go. Barbarian! Oh, no. Ape! Oh, apologize. Well, I'm... Uh... <laughs> oh... I'm sorry, Sue. 